What's up YouTube fragrance friends? Tommy with Studio Sense here coming at you with another brand new edition of If you've never seen this segment of my program, basically what it is is I give you my thoughts on two fragrances, whether they're new or old, brand new release, old standard. Typically we do an unboxing and first impressions and that's what we're gonna do today with Carolina Herrera's CH Insignia for men. And then I've got a really cool looking fragrance called Tokyo by Kinzo. So when we come back, we're gonna bust open these two fragrances, check them out, see if they're worth picking up that and more. So stay tuned. Welcome back everyone and thanks for tuning in to a brand new edition of My Two Cents on Two Cents. Today we're going to be looking at a Carolina Herrera fragrance called Let's check out that presentation. So the box is actually gold. It's black velvet with a gold overlay. You've got CH and gold, those two gold stripes. So it's very similar to the actual presentation itself of the bottle, Men Limited Edition. So CH Insignia is a limited edition release. Carolina Herrera, 3.4 fluid ounces, 100 ml bottle, and it is an eau de parfum. In classic CH style, it's like alligator print leather. I believe that's an H, if you turn it this way, for Herrera. Don't quote me on that, but that's probably what they're indicating. So if you set the fragrance down on its side, so it's sitting on top of the gold, uh, what looks like little leg pieces there, this is what it looks like. If you've ever been in a fancy hotel like the Bellagio in Las Vegas, they've got really cool lounge areas, what they call the commons areas where you can sit down and that's what this looks like. One of those things that you can actually sit on. Regardless of what they were going for, I really like the look. I like the presentation. It reminds me a little bit of Grand Tour, the limited edition, the bottle shape is exactly the same. The lid and the lid color is the same. Insignia was launched in 2018. Let's talk about that note breakdown. Carolina Herrera Insignia features top notes of saffron and cinnamon with heart notes of rose and violet resting on a base of woods, patchouli, Cistus, Cashmere, and Oud. Saffron, cinnamon, rose, violet, patchouli, and woods. With a little bit of cashmere to add some softness. And before it gets too soft though, a spritz of Oud to kind of give it an edge. Let's go ahead and check out that juice. Give it a test and see if it is as good as it sounds like it's gonna be. They've got a good history of fragrances. Nice, there's a nice atomizer there. I might have to turn that fan off though. It's gonna blow this around. Oh, wow. Toy Boy just got some competition. Not just, came out in 2018. Toy Boy ostensibly 2019. Yeah, I think 2019. Man, that's so good though. Ah, okay. I don't even need a tester strip. This is a rose oriented fragrance, but it's more than just rose. Rose is a particularly linear fragrant floral note. If you don't like rose, you probably don't like rose like or rose associated fragrances and smells. I'm not a huge fan of rose myself, or at least I thought that I wasn't until Toy Boy 
came out. I pretty much like all things dark, rich, and oriental. And so if something is kind of going in that direction, I'll find something about it that I'll usually can like. Toy Boy, at first, I didn't like it because of the rose. I was like, I'm not a big fan of rose, but a fresh, pure, essential oil, like a cold pressed oil from rose, and not just like a facsimile, a Roman chemical facsimile of rose, is so good. Hedge it with other fragrant notes that highlight the, the really kind of the, the sharp, the lightly sweet. Rose has this lasting afterburn that once you smell it, kind of stays in the back of your throat. If you don't like it, that's probably what you don't like about Rose. And that's what this is. That's what Toy Boy is. And that's what's in the heart of this. The addition of Oud and Saffron just enriching it. It enlivens it. This is definitely going to be a beast of a fragrance, but definitely not something that you want to wear in the high heat of summer you're gonna knock everybody out around you like they'll fall like bowling pins there are two heart notes in here rose and violet and they're both vying for equal attention but they're doing it in such a way that they're coming to the forefront in tandem one with the other and that's unusual it's like a rose violet compendium together so there's lots of different things going on in the background, there are all these little bit of fireworks sparking off here and there. Saffron and cinnamon dressing it up and enveloping it with a good bit of spice. This one is going to be one of those fall, winter, cool weather, maybe even early spring. For those of you that are tuberose and rose lovers, those of you that enjoy or, or love Toy Boy, it seems to be a very galvanizing fragrance. I feel like this is going to be the same. People either love it or hate it. This is a bit more refined a little bit more dressed up i wouldn't say this has a youthful vibe to it a little bit older maybe 30 plus are going to enjoy something like this um, but i like it carolina herrera insignia next up is a fragrance from the house of kenzo i've been giving kenzo a lot of love lately with aqua kenzo of course kenzo om kenzo edp one of my favorite fruity grapeish fragrances for spring and summer and specifically a high heat fragrance is that what this one's going to turn out to be this one being Let's check out that presentation. Tokyo by Kenzo is an interesting box. It looks like they got funky with the lens flare in Photoshop. Took a photo of a tree and just said, let's flare it out. It got all kinds of light going on, which is really cool. Got Tokyo by Kenzo in like a metallic green. Eau de Toilette Pour Homme, so it's an EDT concentration. The lens flare continues onto the bottle. You've got Tokyo by Kenzo in purple on the front and kind of wraps around the, the little lighting effect, kind of wraps around the bottle, which is overall black. This one is discontinued. It's been really hard to find. It's still hard to find. That's why one fluid ounce is gonna cost you about 75 bucks. So even at, at a discounter, so it's relatively expensive, but it also happens to be a great smelling fragrance from what I've heard. That's why we're checking it out today. Uh, before we get into the fragrance though, let's talk about the note breakdown. Tokyo by Kinzo features top notes of bitter orange, grapefruit, ginger, lemon, with heart notes of green tea, mate, shiso, and pink pepper. Resting on a base of clove, guayac wood, nutmeg and cedar wood marie salamane is the nose behind the fragrance with that many notes in it you can kind of guess when it was created that's right it was launched in the early 2000s because it's got a ton of different notes in it but all these notes are 
very fragrant, very spicy, very particular. So I'm interested to see what this smells like. Let's jump right to the juice. When you start tacking on things like green tea, shiso, mate, those are very like Asiatic type fragrance notes. It's gonna be interesting to see what this smells like. It's very green. It's lightly green. Definitely got an herbaceous body. It's like the shiso, the mate, and the, the pink pepper. It's just very spicy and peppery, but it's very pleasant. Um, it's not harsh at all. It's a little bit, it's, it's softer. It's, it's like a well-rounded spicy with a little bit of patchouli now. They put some interesting woods together and some spices in the base. You've got clove, you've got nutmeg, guaiac wood, um, cedar wood. Nutmeg is kind of, it, it it reduces the harshness of clove, so it's good that they're paired together. So you get that really nice, rich guaiac and cedar wood combo, and then that nutmeg and clove combo. That open has a really nice citrusy handshake. Got bitter orange, lemon, grapefruit, and of course ginger to carry it. Then it goes in a little bit darker when you start getting into the shiso, the pink pepper, which also carries these other notes, green tea, mate. And then when it reaches the apex or the bottom of the barrel, which is where it's darkest. That's when you get your clove, your nutmeg, your guaiac wood, and your, and your cedar wood combination. Really nice. In much the way Artisan Pure is a very um, herbaceous, mineralic, floral fragrance, this is a very spicy, woody, unique fragrance. Oddly enough, an oriental fragrance called Tokyo. If you're into spicy, woody, unique fragrances, I would say definitely give Tokyo by Kenzo a try. Uh, you could definitely wear this in cooler days of summer and light heat would be okay. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily wear it in high heat. It might, it, it feels to me like the notes that are used in this might die. There you have it, guys. Carolina Herrera Insignia Limited Edition and Kenzo Tokyo. You can get a 100 ml bottle of Insignia for about 65 bucks. You, you can get about 30 ml of this for around the same price, 70 bucks, $75. Because it's discontinued, of course, you're gonna pay a little bit more for it and it's a little bit harder to find. Well guys, that's it for my two cents on these two cents. I hope you enjoyed my first impressions and unboxing of these fine fragrances. If you own these, let me know what your thoughts of these fragrances are in the comments below. And if you'd like to see me go over some fragrances that I haven't yet, let me know that as well. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's video. And as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow.